An absolutely terrifying story to kick off this morning, guys. It's just, um, it, luckily, this story is ending in someone that has been unharmed. That being a Twitch streamer known as Jay Kirky. I will be linking things down below in case you want to check him out because just a situation absolutely terrifying breaking this morning where apparently early this morning on stream, he was held at gunpoint by several invaders who actually invaded his apartment, uh, a couple with machetes and one with a gun. And just what is uh, seemingly very, very lucky for him to even be alive in the first place. I'm going to warn you guys before I play these clips because they are tough to hear and uh, just truly terrifying to hear as well. Oh, Sion, are you saying I should use my voice more often? How are you surviving so long? Do you mean during the game? Sounds like someone's trying to break in. To my next door. I'll get this down. House. <laughs> escape, but I confess I am somewhat surprised you survived so long. But Dave would want whoever's upstairs because our house totally looks like it's the same. They thought they were hiding in here with me, and once they noticed that I'm separate and I live by myself, um, they were like, oh, well, safe, and they f***ing fist bumped me. So I guess I'm lucky as f I was gonna die. <sighs> I'm just happy about I'm okay. I don't wanna head off, like, I don't wanna be on my own. I can't call the police now because he literally he said he asked me for my phone and I was like, here you can take it. And then he was like, it's alright, I trust you. Just don't do anything, don't call anyone or anything. So I'm not gonna call the police. I had a machete, there was three of them. All like wearing those Ricardo things, but I don't know what you call them. Um, um, one of them had a machete. And the other guy had a gun. No, I don't know anyone here because where I live is a shit all. And all I can really say is I'm glad this story went this way and that he is unharmed and he is okay. If you guys listen closely in those clips, you hear just uh, the insane moments where he is literally, for lack of any better words, begging for his life, telling the intruders to take whatever they want, as apparently at least one of them had a machete and another had a gun, uh, supposedly as well. He does come back on and say he had actually tried to walk out of the apartment, and that's where he found two other intruders as well waiting for him. And uh, the fact that he even says that he is lucky to be alive in the first place and did not call cops because, as you can imagine, three people just break into your apartment and if you do then call the cops on them who knows if they are to return so uh, apparently sitting there for quite some time and not doing anything at all it's just 
I, I really don't know how to react to these situations. Luckily enough, on this channel, we don't cover too many stories like this, but truly, truly uh, just very, very lucky to be in his situation. Of course, an unfortunate break-in, but lucky to be alive, as he even does state. It's just, uh, it's it's crazy. These kind of stories, of course, thoughts and prayers go out to him moving forward, whatever he is going to do as well. I will be linking some stuff down below in case you want to check him out. Just a crazy story I did not expect to cover uh, on this morning. So a constant reminder to all of you guys out there. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, hope you guys are all staying safe. And I'll see you back here sometime soon, hopefully with uh, a less crazy story. But just... Um, these are crazy times. Crazy, crazy times. Drink your water. Drink your coffee. I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Take care, folks.